right, good morning class. Today we're going to do uh, our second lesson and a follow-up lesson to mean, median, mode, and range. So yesterday we kind of introduced um, all of these topics, and today we're going to dive a little bit deeper. So we had our homework, we had a set of numbers, and your task was to find the mean, median, mode, and range of each number. So let's go forth, and I want you to talk first to your partners on what we should do first. First, what's our very first thing we should do? Go ahead and talk to your partners. So Ms. Ellsworth, it looks like we have some different ideas, so maybe we can all share our, our different ideas. So, okay. Emily, do you want to share first? Add all the numbers together. All right. <laughs> information to help clarify. Ms. Johnson, what do you think we should do? Hmm, well, I think there's a tip that we're forgetting. So, does anybody see a tip on the board? Laura, do you see it where it says tip on the board? Oh, yeah. Okay, is that for us? Uh, uh, arrange numbers from least to greatest first. Oh, ah, okay. all right. So, this is the big key and that will help you solve all of your problems um, with mean, median, mode, and range a lot more quickly and a lot more <laughs> effectively. Ms. Johnson keeps turning the lights off on us. All right, so first we have to arrange the numbers from least to greatest. So let's look at these numbers. What would be our least or low number? Let's see, 5, 7, 10, 2, 5, 1, 5, and it is? Everyone, one. One. one, two, it's easy one to cross them off so you know what numbers you're doing. So make sure you have all of them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So check your papers, does everybody make sure that they arrange their numbers from least to greatest first? Okay, perfect. Okay, awesome. So here we go. The mean is the average you add, then divide. So I'm going to add all these numbers and then divide by what? So go ahead and talk to your papers. What do I divide by? Go ahead and talk to your partners. Five. All the numbers. Why do you think five's the most? Because five's there a lot. Okay, that's one idea. What do you guys think? Um, I would say we divide by the total. Yeah, yeah, me too. Go ahead and look back at your notes that we took yesterday. Laurel, what did we find? Right here. So what does it say? We, how many numbers do we divide by? Se seven. Seven. Like seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, seven Do you numbers. guys all agree? All right, so we're going to add them up. Uh, 5, 10, 15, plus 10 is 25, plus 7, 32, 32 plus 2, 34, 34 and 35. 35. Did everybody make sure that they got 35 when they added all of these numbers up? Okay, if you need to do it longhand, make sure you do it that way too. Double check that you're always getting that right number. 35. So then we get to divide it by seven. Everyone should know that is everyone together? Five. five. All five. right. So five is the mean. Awesome job. Nice work, guys. Okay, so now we're going to go on and we're going to do the median. Everyone talk to your partner and tell them what the median is. Just one. Okay, so what do you guys think? Laurel, can you tell us what's the median? The median's the one in the middle. Do you guys agree? Yeah. Nice job. Okay, and since they're already from least to greatest, your work's halfway done. So now we find the one in the middle, and I'm going to go ahead and start crossing off. Two, three, and what's the one in the middle? Five. Five. Awesome job. So the median 
equals five. All right. Nice job. Okay, right, so now, nice job on your homework, everybody. So now we're going to review the mean, median, mode, and range. And do you guys remember that song that we learned yesterday? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you guys like that song? Yeah. That's yeah. a fun one. Okay, so we're going to sing the song together and remember to use your hand movements so that we can remember it better, okay? So, Miss Ellsworth is going to have to help us with this All one. All right. I'm going to write our new problem on the board in just a minute. All right. Okay, ready? Mean, median, mode, and range. Mean, median, mode, and range. Here's what you are. Here's what you are. The mean is the average you add and divide. The median is the one in the middle spot. The mode is the one you see a lot. The range is the highest minus the low. Mean, median, mode, and range. Mean, median, mode, and range. Awesome. Oh, guys, good remembering. All right. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do today is... You guys know about the mean, right? We just reviewed this on our homework. So now we're going to do a problem where the mean is going to be a little bit trickier because the numbers are going to be bigger, okay? So the problem is that I gave you guys a math test on Monday, okay? And there's lots of different scores. So there's going to be six different scores that we're going to have to find the mean of, okay? So the different scores are, everyone write this down with me, you just have to write the numbers, 75, 75. that's the first score, 82, 96, 93, 75, Oh, 75, not 76. <laughs> and 86. So you guys should have one, two, three, four, five, six numbers on your paper. You guys all good? Okay. So what do you think we should do first? We're going to find the mean. What's the first thing we usually do? Laura? We add them together. We add them together. Okay. Mm. Do the tip. Oh, the tip. Something about well, a tip. What's the tip? Mm -hmm. You arrange numbers from least to greatest first. Oh, okay. So before nice. we add them. Oh, nice okay. job. Okay. So let's arrange these in order from least to greatest. Heather, can you help us out with this one? Uh, yes. Which one's going to go first? 75. Okay. Um, 75 again. Nice job since there's two 75s. Mm -hmm. Molly, do you know what to go next? 75, 75, 82. 82, okay. Nice. Laurel, do you know what to go next? What's the next biggest after 82? Uh, 86. Awesome. Nice job. Mm -hmm. And let's go back around. Heather, what's after 86? 93. Nice job. And Molly, what's the last one? 96. Good job. Okay. So we have all of our numbers up here. Now, Laura, what do we do with these numbers? Remember, we're we finding the other side. We add them together. Nice job. Okay. Add then divide. Add then divide. So first is add. So why don't you guys work together to add these all together, okay? Make sure you line up your numbers. Make sure you line up your numbers. Use that graph paper. Line up those numbers. Right here, look at this. All the numbers should be lined up. Let me see if I can line them up against your graph. Oh, paper. okay. All right. That's easier. All right. Okay. Make sure your group gets the same answer. If you have problems, maybe you should do it twice. You guys want to check with Laurel? Should we go draw that side? You got 507? Nice. Okay, so when you add them all up, it equals 
507. And now what do we do? Remember, add, then divide. Add, divide. And what are we going to divide by? All the numbers. Remember from your homework? Let's look back at our notes. Divide by. by the number of numbers based on mm -hmm. total amount of numbers. Six. So how many numbers? Six. Six. Awesome. Okay. Okay. So why do you guys <coughs> work together to find what this answer is? 507 divided by six numbers. Okay, Laurel, let's see you work. Oh. This one might be a little bit trickier. Thanks you got to also me. use how we divide decimals. Well, you see how Heather has the log division. Okay. Miss oh, nice. Johnson, we might need to do this there one on the board. Okay, <laughs> little review. Okay, so Heather, it looks like you, you got this started. So, let's see, does six go into five? Yes. Ah, six go into five, Laurel? Oh, no. Yeah, okay. It's too big. What about 50? Yeah. 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 Okay. So, how many times does six go into fifty? Heather, go ahead and give the answer. <laughs> eight. Okay. So Make sure everyone's doing this and put the eight right on top of that zero. There we go. Okay. And what's six times eight, Molly? Forty-seven. Hmm. Do we have a different idea, Laurel? What's six times eight? Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, so make sure you guys all one. write 48 right under that 50. Eight. Now we have to subtract. Okay, and what's 50 minus 48? Everyone. Two. Two. Nice job. Can we carry down the seven? Six in the 27. Hmm. How many times does that six go in there? You, Laurel has the right answer. How about Laurel? Sure. Four. Awesome. Nice job. And what's six times four? Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Nice job. So we're going to bring this twenty-four down here and subtract. And what's our answer going to be? Three. 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 Okay. What do we so do? What do we do now? We have that remainder. Everyone, we put a, a decimal. decimal and we park it up top, right? Decimal and you park it. Perfect. And then we're going to put what right here, Molly? A zero. Did you say it? Nice job, a zero. And then bring that zero all the way down. And how many times does six go into 30? Everyone? Five. 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 Nice. This is why your multiplication facts need to be quick. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what's our answer? 84.5. Everyone okay. louder. 84.5. Awesome. Nice. And what is that? That's our mean. Mean. Nice job. Okay.